grace and mercy that he has shown us in our life, allowing us to get up out of our beds and to be here once again. Amen. We are just grateful. Amen. For what God has done and what he is doing in our lives. Amen. Be it known this day, you are not here by accident. Amen. Nor by coincidence. Amen. But God has divine purpose for each and every one of us. Amen. In our lives. And if we would be open to receive what God has in store for us, amen, God can speak into our lives. God can speak into our situation and circumstances. God can speak to our health concerns. God can speak right where we are with those things in our lives that concern us the most. Amen. And so as we enter into worship, Amen. As we enter into his presence, amen, just humbly bow before the Lord, amen, and just begin to hear God as he speaks to us, individually as well as collective, amen, and amen, amen. I just want to take a moment to welcome you to worship, amen.
thank you, Lord, for this time of worship, Lord, as we pour out our hearts in humble gratitude for all that you have done. Day after day and night after night, you are there, walking with us and talking with us along life's way. Lord, we just want to say thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you have favored us. We thank you, Lord, for your word that promised us that in the end we will win. No matter what obstacles we face in life, no matter what ups and downs we go through, Lord, you let us know that it's a fixed fight, that it's going to be all right in the morning. Lord, we just say thank you for that. We thank you, Lord, that you continue, Lord, to bless us with food on our table and clothes on our backs. Lord, we say thank you today. We thank you, Lord, that you just continue to allow the sun to shine in our lives, Lord. Without you, Lord, we can do nothing, but with you, we can do all things. Lord, we just say thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you just continue to allow us to go to our closets and find a choice of clothes to wear and shoes to put on our feet, Lord. We thank you today that there is something in the refrigerator. Cars to drive, roof over our heads, Lord. We say thank you for that. Old folk used to say, Lord, we thank you for a reasonable portion of health and strength. Lord, we're so grateful today because we know that we didn't deserve any of it. We didn't deserve, Lord, to be here or to get up. But it's not in our own strength that we're here, but it's because of your grace and your mercy. So, Lord, we say thank you. We bless you today again. We come into this house, Lord, to lift you up and to magnify you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray that you would bless your word. You would give us clarity of thought and mind. <coughs> give us insight and understanding, Lord. Lord, we pray that you would speak to us. Let us hear. And your servant will obey. Let us leave these walls better than when we came. Let us leave strengthened and encouraged, Lord. Let us leave, Lord, with power, vigor, and determination in our lives. Let us leave with the chapters loose that let us leave, Lord, knowing that you are able to make a way out of nowhere. You can fix it for us. We thank you for that. We thank you, Lord, for the answer to our prayers. We thank you for the victory. We thank you for healing, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for deliverance, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. We give you praise and glory for the victory. In Jesus' name. Amen.
not an unfamiliar passage of scripture. It's one that very much familiar to us. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God. To those who are called according to his purpose. We will win. That's today's message. Speaks to us. From this thing, we will win. Many people spend a great deal of time trying to position themselves for success, positioning themselves for careers. Positioning themselves for friendships, positioning themselves to purchase homes and cars, and things of that nature, other ambitions in life. I'm reminded of the song that William Murphy sings when he says, This is my season for grace for favor this is my season to reap what I have sown brothers and sisters God has not only implied it but he explicitly commanded uh, that we would sow into our lives, that we would go into the fields, that we would reap according to that which we have sown. So the question is, what are you sowing in your life? What, what is it that we are planting in the fields of life? We, William Murphy points out rather uh, vividly, he says, I haven't been perfect. But he thinks back over the course of his life and he says, but I sure have been faithful. God has got a purpose and I know he's able. I ought to have a witness right there. Do you have a seed in the ground? A seed that God is blessing. You don't have to stress over it. Do you have a seed in the ground? Uh, God has stretched out his arms wide. And he has beckoned all of humanity to come unto me. You labor and are heavy laden. He beckons us that we would come unto him. He says many are called, few are chosen. But nonetheless, he beckons us. He, he tells Israel, he says that I, I, I would have embraced you. I, I would have gathered you together as, as a hen. Would gather her chicks. God has a desire. Says that for whosoever. And I wonder how many in this world will choose to be in the whosoever crowd. How many would choose to believe God and accept him and receive him and plant a seed in the ground?
Because my brothers and sisters, when I share with you that we will win, uh, unfortunately, it's not a blanket statement. Unfortunately, it's not carte blanche. Unfortunately, it's not to whosoever. The invitation for salvation is to whosoever. But the promise of victory in our lives, the promise that we will ultimately win in the end, is not to whosoever. But it's to whosoever believes. So, let me share with you, as this text says, that we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. As you look at your life and as you look over the things that have happened to you along the way, you look at some of the events in life. Some have been bitter. Some have been sweet. Some have been sour, while some have had such a pleasant taste. And so, and so sometimes when we look at this text, we have to strain to see it. Sometimes when we look at this text, uh, it causes us to, to, to be thrown back by what God says to us and what he promises in our lives. Sometimes it's hard for us, it's difficult for us to see it. Nonetheless, God says it. Just as plain as day, just as clear as, as a bright sun, sunshiny day <clears throat> with no fault. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God. And if we don't, if we don't pay very close attention to the text, we may miss the blessing that God has to share in it. Because sometimes when we look at our lives and, and we're looking for the good in life, uh, we began to look at our lives, trying to define them uh, uh, from an isolated point of view. And we do that sometimes. Sometimes people will try to define you by events in your life rather than the totality of your life. But my brothers and sisters, the first point that we must make very clear to ourselves in understanding this text and understanding the good that, that God says is, is for us and is waiting for us on the other side of our tragedies and the other side of our ups and downs, my brothers and sisters, uh, we, we got to first of all understand context. Got to understand context. <laughs> What makes it all good? What makes everything that happens in our life good? Well, what, what is it that, 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 that allows it to go from miserable circumstances to, to good circumstances? What is it that allows it to go from a crisis to good? What, what, what is it that makes all the difference in the world? Mm. Glad you asked. Context. Notice here that he says all oh, things. But uh, we tend we tend to isolate the events of life without taking the time to evaluate the whole of life. Uh, we see that in Jacob, and we see it in Paul. 
Jacob cried. And when Jacob cried out, his, his cry was different than Paul's cry. Jacob cried and he said these words, all these things are against me. Then on the flip side of that, we hear Paul would cry out. And when Paul cried out, we hear him saying, all things are working together for good. Yes, it's like, it's like those two men, can I share it again, uh, who shared the same prison cell. And, and one man, he would look out and, and he saw stars out in the hemisphere. He, he saw stars out in the sky and the other man saw nothing but mud. It all, it all was based on one truth. It's not that they had two different windows in their cell. Yes, it's not even that they were in different cells, but that it hinges on the fact that one looked up, whereas the other man looked down. Yes, uh, Jacob looked down and he said, all these things are against me. Paul looked up and he says, all things are working together for good. Yes, we've got to manage our perspective in life because if we fail to manage our perspective in life, it can turn our world upside down. Yes, and it, it can send us into a, a tailspin. When I was, when I was, when I was uh, in, in college and, uh, and I, was, I was driving in, in the neighborhood in which I grew up and I was crossing Normandy and, and, and there was uh, a sheriff deputy who was in hot pursuit but he didn't have his lights on. It was at nighttime and he didn't have his lights on uh, nor did he have his sirens on. He was driving uh, in the dark and, uh, and, as, and there was a little hill that was two blocks away and, and he was beneath the hill and, and I looked both directions as I should and, and I didn't see any cars coming uh, and so I proceeded to cross that major highway. And lo and behold, here comes about 60 or, or more miles per hour, this car. Yes, uh, and, 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 and I saw him coming and he was headed dead for my door. Yes, uh, and, 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 and my, my first impression was to, to, to not hit the brakes, but to hit the gas. Yes. Praise the Lord, right. I hit the gas. Right. <laughs> I hit the gas. I, I, I did not avoid the sheriff altogether, but, but instead of him T-boning me and perhaps causing a fatality, he, he clipped the tail of my bumper. Yes, I was able to almost clear right. his car. Yes, yes and, and while, while I was not a fatality, uh, yes, uh, it did something to the car. Right. Yes, uh, when he hit the, the, the back of that bumper, it caused the car to, to spin around about four or five times in the middle of the street. Yes, uh, and sometimes my brothers and sisters, life is just like that. Yes, life will hit our bumpers uh, and, and cause us to fly around in a circle. Uh, yes, uh, and if you don't understand when to hit the brake and when to hit the gas, uh, you may not come out of that circle all right. Yes, uh, what made the difference of me coming out of that circle and landing on that, that parking lot into a brick wall uh, but at all uh, stopping uh, in the middle of that street was the adjustment of brake and acceleration uh, and, and which direction in which I turned the wheel. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, yes, and that, that was not me doing, that was God's doing. Can I get a witness? Yes, uh, and, 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 and my brothers and sisters in life, yes, uh, when, when, when you find yourself in a tailspin, uh, you got to maintain perspective and allow God to bring you to a safe conclusion. Yes, yes uh, 
Because the ultimate, the ultimate goal is, is that in the end you can win. Yes. yes, it can work for your good. Yes. yes, in spite of. Yes, the tragedies that come your way. Yes, you can still say like Paul, all things work together. Sometimes we look through the lens of, of right now. Rather than the lens of what is to come. Our humanity won't allow us to see down the road or around the corner. But we must not trust in, in ourselves. We must not trust in our own frailty and our own humanity. But we got to allow ourselves to, to lean on somebody. Yes, who have a better perspective, who has a global perspective on life, who, who knows what, what has been, uh, what is, and what is to come. Yes, uh, we must lean on God's unchanging hand. I tell you that God knows how to put all things together. L listen, listen, we, 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 we've, got to, we, we, we've got to understand the context of it all. That is, that it's all things. Uh, all things is not one thing. Yes. yes, all things is not an event in life. All things, uh, yes, uh, is not one tragedy. Uh, but all things is a collective gathering uh, of, of whatever happens in your life. Yes. And God says, uh, if we understand the context, yes, yes uh, and, and if we if we can, if we can understand consistency, yes, it'll be all right in the morning. Yes. Yes. Uh, what do you mean, Pastor? You say consistency. Yes. He, he says all things work together. Yes. 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 Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, Yes, uh, the archaic definition uh, of consistency is condition of adhering together. Yes, uh, it, it's the agreement or a harmony of parts. Yes, uh, and, and what God is trying to get us to understand when he says all things work together is that it is the culmination of events. Uh, yes, not the isolation of events. Yes, uh, let me see if I can explain it a little bit. Uh, let me see if I can use a little culinary, yes, to, to, to make it clear. Yes, if I, was, if I was making a pot of chili, uh, I would start by chopping up, can I get a witness? Yes. Some raw onions. Yes. Yes, uh, I, I would get some, some whole tomatoes and, and chop them up. Yes. Yes, uh, I, I would get me some, some, some assortments of, of, of peppers. I would get some green uh, and, and some yellow and, and some red bell peppers and, and I would chop them up. Yes, yes uh, I, I get a hold of me of some, some jalapenos or some serrano chips. Yes, and, and I chop them up. Yes, and, and I take all of these raw vegetables and, and I, would, I would put them in a, a big pot. Yes, uh, turn the fire on uh, to just a simmer. Yes, let them cook slow. Yes, uh, until they began to, to break down uh, and, and they began, uh, yes, uh, to look less like themselves uh, and, and they began to look more like a combination. Can I get a witness? Yes, yes. yes uh, my brothers and sisters, I let them break down and blend together. Yes. I would add my tomato paste uh, or some sauce. Uh, I would continue to build my flavor profile with an assortment of spices. Yes. Can I get a witness? I hope you see where I'm going here. Yes, I'm trying to get somewhere. But I add my protein. Yes, some beef or, or, or some chicken or some turkey. Whatever the flavor called for on this particular occasion. Yes, uh, and then I would take my pinto beans that uh, has already been rinsed, soaked, uh, and slow cooking on the side. Yes, yes. yes uh, and I mix those in, uh, yes, with this chili. Yes, yes Scott constantly stirring to bring 
came to a nice consistency. Yeah. Yes, uh, there's that word again. Uh, yes, uh, and about this time, uh, I would be ready to get a sample bowl. Yes, uh, if you're going to be here, uh, yeah, if you're going to call yourself cooking, uh, yes, you don't serve nothing that you haven't tasted first yourself. Yes, uh, and, and so I get me a sample bowl, uh, and I get me a spoon, uh, and I taste it. Uh, yes, uh, but I want you to understand that I don't taste raw onions. Yeah. Yes, right about now. Yes, I don't taste raw tomatoes or jalapenos uh, at this point. Uh, I don't taste, uh, yes, uh, beef or turkey or chicken uh, right about now. What, what I taste uh, is chips. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, chili is the collective coming together of an assortment of otherwise unattractive ingredients uh, left to themselves. Yes, uh, not many of us, uh, yes, would just pick up an onion, a raw onion, and take a bite out of it. Yes, uh, but my brothers and sisters, I stop by to let you know that that which is unattractive by itself tastes mighty good uh, when it comes together with everything else. Yes, yes the goodness of life yes. is the bringing together of what would otherwise be a bunch of unattractive events. Yes, uh, having your lights cut off uh, because the bill is overdue is not an attractive event. Yes, having yes your chest cut open uh, is not an attractive event. Uh, yes. yes, chemo, dialysis, diabetes, arthritis, uh, gout, high blood pressure, oh uh, uh, yes, aneurysms. Uh, yes, none of these are attractive events. Uh, but I dare you to keep looking at your event collectively. Uh, yes, uh, put them all together. Uh, yes, uh, and I'll tell you that you don't watch and see that God pulled all of those things together and called them to work out for your good. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, they'll come together. Yes, if, if you if you got patience enough, uh, yes, uh, if you got faith enough uh, to trust God uh, and to watch, uh, yes, uh, to trust and never doubt, uh, to hang on in there and not throw in the towel, uh, I guarantee you uh, that you'll be able to say like the songwriter, uh, I look at my bad days, uh, I look at my good days, uh, and I My good days outweigh my bad days. Yeah. And I decided I just won't complain. Yeah. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters. Yes, A.T. Robinson had it right when he said, It is God who makes all things work together in our lives for good. Yeah. Yes, ultimate good. Yes, Paul accepts fully human free agency. But behind it all, and through it all yes. runs God's sovereignty as here and on its gracious side. Yes, uh, God's hand uh, guides us. Yes, uh, while we're able to make our own decisions and choices in life. Yes, don't you get it twisted? Yes, don't you get it? Get it all bent up, out of shape, and, and don't you see it from the wrong perspective? I want you to understand this one thing, that God's got it all yes. in control. Yes. Oh, yes, he does. Yes, we've got to maintain life in its context. We've got to understand life in its consistency. Yes, and we've got to understand life in its confirmation. Yes, we've got to be conformed into his image. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. Listen, listen, listen. He says, and we know that all things work together. Yes, uh, for good. To those who love God. Yes. 
Yes. I, I, I said at the outset that this is not for just whosoever mm -hmm. without any prerequisites. Right. Mm -hmm. But to those who are the called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. This, my brothers and sisters, is the believer's benefit. Yes, I, I sometimes work out at the gym. Yes, uh, that was relocated. Yes, uh, and it then had some extreme renovations and some upgrades and additions. Yes, uh, and, and when it moved from one spot to the other spot, with all of the new equipment and features and so forth, Yes, uh, that came with it. Yes, a new higher price tag. Yes. For membership. Yes. Yes, uh, a price tag which I was not willing to pay. Can I get a witness? <laughs> yes, uh, I wasn't willing to pay for, uh, yes, uh, amenities that I probably would not use. Yes, new upgrades uh, that would never catch my attention. All right. Yes, uh, and 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 so and and so and so I I I, I heard about the the increase uh, in membership fees. Yes. But then uh, the representative from the gym yes. said, "Mr. Garvey, you don't have to pay the higher membership price." Yes, uh, since you were already a member at the old location. Yes. Yes, uh, you have been grandfathered in. <laughs> yes, uh, you've been grandfathered in. Uh, yes, and what that simply means is you can ride in on the coattail. Uh, yes, uh, of your previous membership uh, at the old facility. Yes, uh, and not only that, uh, but they told me that any other facility uh, that they own uh, that was upgraded, that used to be in the class of facilities uh, that I was previously a member of, right. that I can go to those facilities also. Yes, yes uh, because I was grandfather. All right, all right. Yeah. Yes, uh, what, what I'm getting at, uh, yes, uh, it is that membership has its benefits. Yes, uh, yes uh, if you've been born again, uh, if you are a believer, yes, uh, if you go by name of Christian, uh, yes, uh, if you have uh, been born again, uh, yes, uh, now, not not physically, uh, yes, but spiritually, uh, yes. Uh, if you've been uh, blood bought, uh, yes. Uh, if you've been uh, blood washed, uh, yes. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, if God uh, has signed your name uh, in the Lamb's book of life, uh, I stopped by this morning uh, to share with you uh, that membership has its benefits. Uh, Yes, uh, and because you belong uh, to the Lord, uh, yes, yes uh, because you are his child, uh, yes, I stop by to remind you uh, that all things, yes, yes work together yes. for good. Uh, yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, I like how, uh, yes, uh, that word is, is put together, uh, yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, he said, we know. Yes, uh, it's a perfect active indicative. Yes, uh, and he says, uh, it is uh, that we know. Yes. Made up of the word or the men. Yes, not gnosko. Yes, which is more head knowledge or book learning. Uh, Yes, uh, not what we've learned from being in school. Uh, yes, uh, but what we have learned, uh, or it has to do with the eyes, ocular <clears throat> vision. Uh, yes, uh, and, and that which we see, uh, what we perceive, uh, and what we experience. Uh, yes, uh, and he says, uh, we know. Yes, uh, 
my brothers and sisters, uh, if you uh, walk with him, uh, if you talk with him, uh, yes, uh, if you have frequent uh, abilities to be in his presence, uh, I stop by to tell you, uh, yes, uh, that you can know uh, for yourself, uh, yes, uh, some of those old folk who couldn't, uh, yes, express it, uh, yes, uh, and all of those five dollar words, uh, they just simply put it like this, uh, I know uh, what I know, uh, and I know uh, that I know what I know. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, you don't have to articulate it, uh, yes, uh, on the highest levels uh, of the English language, uh, yes, uh, all you have to do uh, is just simply, uh, yes, just know uh, that you know uh, that God will uh, make a way somehow. Uh, that God will uh, work it out for you. Uh, I stop by uh, to remind you uh, that it will work out uh, for your good. Yes. Oh, yes, it will. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters. Uh, yes, uh, you, you can you can come in. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, I, I, I want to point one more thing out to you real quick. Before I take my seat, I'm about to sit down now. Yes, uh, but I want to point out one more thing. Uh, yes, uh, it's in the perfect active indicative, uh, which represents uh, a present state based on past action. Yes, uh, and, and so my brothers and sisters, uh, when, when Paul shares uh, that we know that all things uh, work together, uh, that God's working it out uh, for our good, uh, yeah. I stop by to let you know uh, that there was something that happened in Paul's past, uh, right. yes, uh, yeah. that changed his perspective uh, on the future, uh, yeah. yes, uh, he had reference. Uh, yes, he had personal experiences. Uh, yes, uh, he knew, uh, yes, uh, from on yesterday's faith. Uh, he knew uh, from what God has brought him over, uh, over the hills and the mountains, uh, through the valleys uh, and across the rivers. Uh, yes, uh, there were some experiences uh, in his life uh, that confirmed it for him, uh, that sealed the deal for him. Uh, yes, God wants you to understand that it's all good. 
Even when your husband leaves you for another woman, God wants you to know it's all good. Even when the children are rebellious, God says it's all good. Even when your new car just got totaled out, God wants you to understand that it's all good. Even when the kitchen just caught on fire and burned the house, it's all good. Yes, uh, when the tornadoes come through the south, uh, yes, uh, I, I want you to understand, it's all good. Yes. Yes, and I'm not just saying something right now. I'm just telling you what I know. Yes. Yes. yes, uh, yes. I, I, you, you remember when the young folk used to use that phrase, don't you? Yeah, they, they would just simply say to everything, it's all good. Yes, I, I don't use it loosely. I want you to understand uh, that all things work together for your good when God has his hands on. Mm. Because I know that I love the Lord and he loves me. Yes, uh, I love the Lord and he keeps on. Yes, old folk, you say he heard my cry, but I want you to know he keeps on hearing my cry. All right. Yes, uh, and he keeps on pitying every one of my groans. Yes, yes I love him because he hears my faintest cry and he answers by and by. Yes. Oh, I love him. Yes. I really, really love him. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, not only do I love him, but I stopped by this morning to let you know and to remind you that God loves you. Yes. Yes, Jesus loves me, this I know. Yes, the children, you say, because the Bible tells me so. Yes, my brothers and sisters, if God don't do anything else for me, I want you to understand this. He's done enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, when, yes. When, Jesus, uh, when Jesus was sent from heaven down, uh, he did enough. Yes. yes, when God allowed him to be born of a virgin woman, uh, he did enough. Yes. When he allowed him to take on human flesh and to look like me, uh, to wear clothes like me, to eat like me, get tired like me, uh, yes, yet without sin, he did enough. Oh, yes, uh, so that he could ultimately suffer, bleed, and die. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, because uh, he lives, uh, I can live. Yes, yes uh, because he lives, uh, I can face tomorrow. Yes, uh, mama was in the hospital. Uh, yes, uh, I can, can, can I share this with you? Yes, uh, mama was in the hospital. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, for three weeks, she was in the hospital. Yes, I went in for an outpatient surgery. Uh, yes, uh, a little procedure. Uh, yes, uh, that was supposed to be an in and out procedure. Uh, but while she was there, yes, uh, her heart stopped functioning. Uh, Yes, uh, she suffered from congestive uh, heart failure. Uh, yes, uh, it stopped beating uh, and her blood pressure dropped down. Uh, yes, to 60. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, yes, and somebody in the back the question. Uh, yes, uh, how can I proclaim uh, that all things work together for good? Uh, yes, uh, there she was uh, in the procedure room. Uh, But I 